All right, y'all, so basically how these ignition systems work on these old Evermove Johnson outboards is you have a fixed stationary flywheel and trigger timer base, but the trigger timer base can move slightly, right? Um, depending on where the throttle is and the timing and all that. So basically you got magnets on the bottom side of the flywheel and that thing's spinning around, spinning around, spinning around, spinning around. Every time it passes by the pickups on the um, stator, it's generating an AC voltage and that voltage gets stored in the power pack. And then the power pack has all this voltage stored in it. So it needs something to tell it when to trigger to, to fire, right? So um, what happens is the other magnets on the inside of the flywheel are spinning too. And depending on where the trigger is set in its rotation, depending on how far the throttle is, you know, all that stuff, it tells the tr the power pack, okay, dump your voltage, dump your voltage, dump the voltage, dump the voltage. So basically what happens is stator generates all the voltage, trigger does its job, it triggers. It tells the power pack um, when to dump its voltage into the coils, and then the coils, you know, do their thing. They step that voltage up from whatever, 400 volts all the way up to thousands and thousands of volts, and it fires bang 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 that's how it works so now that we know how it works or generally know how it works we can kind of reverse engineer it to figure out the problem so we tested the stator stator's generating good voltage okay on both sides not the problem the trigger isn't telling the power packs when to fire on this outboard apparently so uh that's why we're replacing it if your stator's generating good voltage it's probably good if it's not and it ohms out bad, stator's bad, you know, I got a video for that up here. It's These things aren't easy to fix. I get it, guys. It just takes time. Sometimes, you know, you got to get a new trigger timer base, try it out, see if it works. If you don't have all the specialized equipment, sometimes you got to get a new stator, try it out, see if it works. But typically what happens is the stators go bad first on these old outboards because they're so old. The insulation on the what's it called the enamel coating wears off and they just short out so we're going to get back to fixing this thing but i just want to stop here and share with y'all what i've learned on how these things work and hopefully it helps someone think through and you know go step by step and fix their outboard